You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Well, you got a name, miss? Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost it. isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. It seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Follow me. this girl to you? What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Yes? What do you want? An autograph? <laughs> and Ryan, <laughs> he's a big fish in an awfully small pond. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say, why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? If we were all made from common clay, then Einstein would have remained a... Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Compromise? Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard. Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. is Ryan's been good to me few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist but even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny but when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store Someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me for doing well by doing good. The wit. The hostick sees you, he'll toss you out on your ass again. What? You're not knowing about the Little Sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. 
If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <laughs> Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. So soon. I was Italian on the keep a dog thing, right? About this reason. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor, or flat-out lies. The rumor monger asks, What are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, Why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a Rapture gal. Now you know. Great, you're going through. It looks like you'll need an advance on your fee. She gets that from. I went through basic. Fresh air. Let someone listen to your words. Me? I got my fee. I hope that is. Mr. DeWitt. We'll find my source inside of that club. Cohen. What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Private party. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of. They must have gone out to local artisans. Well... I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. Are you in the know? The Big Daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. 
Do you know all he does for Rapture? These metal gents are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. Taste buds have matured. <laughs> Hello, Booker. Where have you been hiding her? I understand why Ryan wants to walk the tip. I don't think these supermen know the meaning of the word. <sighs> Another one. Now, you got an issue with my food pen. You're welcome to put on an apron. <laughs> I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. Whatever that barber did to you. I hope he's detained a cubicle attorney. Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, seen all the terrible violence. Splicers are burning each other to bits. The lucky ones are not killed, sent a department to stop prison instead. Suchon think he dead man too. But then, Ryan comes to Suchon. to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Ryan, find a vet. Welcome, funny. please. Have a look around. Excuse me. The lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center cobachon. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. Cohen sends those masks out in some kind of right box. Right out of her coffin in the twilight field. Did you think we wouldn't notice? Damn. Must the be someone else. The assurances of a grave robber are of no interest to me. If you hand the ring back, the matter will remain between you and me. You come into my shop and talk this trash. I don't think so. Hit the bricks, you tramp, or I'll see to it they hit you. Get you your hands off me! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Any luck? Nothing. Let's find another shop. It's temporary. Where should we look next? Upstairs at the artist's struggle, or rapture records straight ahead? How is Ryan taking over? Steinman told me he uses my picture to judge fiction. Sexual intimacy is no different than any other kind. You see that dish I walked in with? When you give her the star treatment, pal, it'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. What is this piece? It's by Trinet. But of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Oh, Gotta lovely. find that box. 
Place left. Which is us in places that we never knew existed. Yeah. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. Nothing? No. We've got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Signore. Su Chang observe strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> Bye. Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine. Business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. And his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products, free of criminal taint. Now you know. The name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of That's oxidizing your head. Plasmid, ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. Hey pal, you want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? An original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. Where is he hiding that you box? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> Would you like me to? There you are, you little son of a bitch. I would like so much to understand. In this <laughs> Intended to show us the struggle of the great. You have given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. W would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. Good. You've located the mask. Third time's the charm. All right. It's best we head back to Cohen's. <laughs> My piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. Afternoon. Very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance.
So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children. Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. me in front of my muse. My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! Oh, for God's sake! Ah! My muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here! There shall be no failure on my canvas. <laughs> oh, there's no room in rapture anymore. Name's DeWitt. Is that right? My... <laughs> this one's a real biscuit. Isn't he a biscuit, lady? I need to ask you a few questions. Questions? Yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl. Haven't you? We artists see more than most. You're more than you claim to be, little songbird. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her in exchange. All I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to go. Cold, son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Come, come, dance! I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types lack the capital of people like Ryan and Sucho. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Su Chong had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! <laughs> Dreaming you. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought. 
pain and beauty. To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I am sending you to find your young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Brian sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. What's that? Burial at sea. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. Comfortable. Keep your eyes open. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. DeWitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. It's all the same to you. Let's leave it at Mr. DeWitt. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Could be handy. A skyhook? Skyhook? You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind. <coughs> Goddamn grabber stuck. Mr. DeWitt! Someone's Come coming! On. Come back! I got the grabber unjammed. You won't steal my lead! Mr. DeWitt, look. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh... Jeez, I guess around 
51? No. 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. Well, it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of it. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Mr. DeWitt, look. Ice rink. Be good at places any to look for our new friend. It says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah, our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. Why are my hands all red? Come on. Just let me in, okay? <laughs> Fontaine? He said we're all equal down here now. We're all in the same boat. I can't. Just... Sander Cohen, I'm always ready to cut a record. Wrong show. This is what happened. Oh. <laughs> in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! Ammo. 
Wanna take a look at this? Seems easy enough. It's done. Such a thrill to hear Ryan speak. Parasite, this. And the exaltation of man, that. Cure. Could get a bit of a bore. But the old bear sure knew how to enunciate.
of my first play, the Herald said, a dead whale has washed up at the Schubert Theater and stinks a little more with each passing night. <laughs> the Tribune called my first opera as having the effect of canceling out all of Mozart's classics in a single caterwaul. And now, Mozart, critics think these people. They don't even seem sane. Nothing beats your first spots. From there, it's all downhill. The frozen frosties, the jockeys who will hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. They wouldn't be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. But once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her Adam, hmm, they cut a less sympathetic figure. Of my first play, the Herald said, a dead whale has washed up at the Schubert Theater and stinks a little more with each passing night. <laughs> the Tribune called my first opera as having the effect of canceling out all of Mozart's classics in a single caterwaul. And now, critics take me to task for my humanitarian work. If I were not there to find a home for these orphans, would these belly acres take my place? Short circuit. Probably be able to pop it open with a, a jolt of shock jockey. You familiar with shock jockey? More than you could know. Let's look around. Maybe there's a store ain't been ransacked by splicers yet. This. Looks easy enough. All yours. I keep dropping audio diaries in the pneuma tubes like a message in a goddamn bottle. Hoping one will get through and someone will save me. If you get this, send help. I'm all up in the shoe storeroom. The code's 0928. Crack 
this one open? Come on, give me something challenging. There you go. What'd you say? You never respected me! <laughs> by your Stitch. No doubt about that. There is no excuse for a racket. Come out and show yourself. Ah! Ah! Looks like the plasma department is back that way. I'm sure we'd find something useful there. Got it. Pommel my hand. Mark my words. Pommel my hand.
Why did Ryan lock up all of Fontaine's followers in a department store? He needed somewhere to put Fontaine's button with. Why not shut down the competition in the bargain? But I thought Andrew Ryan was all about free markets and open competition. All those ideas lose their luster when the quarterly earnings come in and you find the other guys eating your lunch. Either way, Fontaine's dead. First pipe. Store sunk a few hundred feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. Tells me all that cold isn't just coming from the ice rink. Frank Fontaine called me the other day. Me, Ray Lord. Says trouble's coming and he's passing out special plasmids to all his best guys. I mean, it, it's an honor, but man. I started getting these shingles all over. Skin's discolored. Like when a guy's about to lose a limb, you know? And I can't seem to pile on enough clothes. I hate to ask, but is this happening to everybody?
lockpicked. Done. Damn it, that son of a bitch drank every last bottle of Old Man Winter. I think I can help. <laughs> what was that? It's a uh, new plasmid. Let's me lets me bring in things that might exist, but uh, don't. I'm not sure I understand. What's it called? Tear. Where'd you find that? You don't expect a girl to share all her secrets, do you, Mr. DeWitt? Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. here is none of your concern. Consider me a means to an end. And why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? I told you I'm in collections. An account is in arrears. My clients simply want to see matters set to right. Don't make any sense, that's all. If you don't like the arrangement, the bathosphere's back that way. Thank you. 
the doctor ordered. Sally's not your daughter. What's she to you? Why risk life and limb? This is part of the job. You owe me no explanation. She's just another orphan. After Fontaine went down, City was lousy with him. And? I don't know. You have a reason for every stupid thing you've ever done? He started showing up. Looking peaked. More fool me to feed the brat. Should have known she would have never leave. How did you lose her? It's none of your business. about you. Doesn't sit right. Yes? Wouldn't peg you as the rapture type. Not even a little. If you mean I have no interest in joining the Andrew Ryan book club, you'd be right. Just another set of fanatics with a different set of books. I gamble. What? You asked me how I lost Sally. I gamble. Took her somewhere a kid's got no business being. I was winning. In a place like that, you don't let a kid out of your sight. But you did. Yeah, and here we are. But the million dollar question is, what's she to you? I have an interest in reuniting you with her. Isn't that reason enough? Let's hope Cohen was on the level when he said this is where we'd find Sally. I can only imagine what they would do with a child in a place like this. Cohen's halfway to Splice Town. Probably thought putting a child in prison would be high art. The sooner we find her, the better. Come on, Sally! Ah! Do it! Sally, come out of there. I can't see her. What are you doing? This is a schematic for the venting system. It shows there are more vents like this one in electronics, the bistro, returns, the book department, and the appliance show floor. So? If she's in there, there are only six vents she can come out of. Now there are five. All these vents are connected to the central heating unit. If we close them off and turn the heat up, she'll be forced out through the central exhaust. It's the only exit. You want to burn her alive? No, we just make it hot enough to flush her out. You can't do that. Look, either we find her, or one of those splicers will. All right. Where are the other vents? Up ahead.
help me out with this lock? Sure thing. All yours. Come on, love. Oh, oh Mickey just wants to give you a little squeeze. <laughs> Do ya? There's another vent. Two down. Where to now? Time try ducking. figure out if the thing's designed to cook a turkey or a splicer. Enough. 
That giant son of a bitch will walk right through that! Oh. What exactly were they trying to keep out? Something worse than them. And what could that be? You'll know it when you see it. Observation number 17. Regarding unknown phenomena. Okay, phenomena next one. Odd shimmer through which is observed... What? Men in strange hats. Women in large dresses. Buildings that float. Is phenomena window to other space? Other time? What was it Einstein said? The only reason for time is so not everything happen at really? once. I know if she was dangerous. I'm just insane. Next time, I'll be sure to ask. Franklin read quietly in a corner like I did as a child. Careless. Not a single thought to where an accident might leave us. Dr. Wortham prescribed a plasmid. A mother's little helper to keep me sharp. I had my misgivings, but I let my guard down for a second. That boy may get himself killed. Sally? Sally, it's me, Booker. Now, you come out now. S Sally? Dear, do, do you hear me? It's, it's me, Booker. Now listen, dear. You come out right now! Mr. DeWitt, she's not coming. Now let's get the rest of these vents sealed. It's the only way. It's the last one. Where's the exhaust? In the toy department. Welcome to the circus of value! Lock needs picking. Keep a lookout. Got it.
Not from the other side. How the hell are... Look. I think I can squeeze through. Give me a boost. so long. Come on! Just give me a for where? Speak for yourself. Observation number 22. Regarding unknown phenomena. What is the source of phenomena? Su Chong employ observers. Observer task to find more phenomena. Observer reports back. Young woman appear from phenomena. And just as soon, young woman disappear. Observer has nothing else to report on topic. If Su Chun can find this woman, she will make interesting new phenomena. All right, let me go check the exhaust vent. No sign of her. Looks like we'll need to turn up the thermostat if we're gonna flush her out. It's over that way. That's right there. Turn the heat up. I'm not going to burn her. It's the only way to bring her to us. If you won't do it, I will. Just give me the word. Turn it up. What? Turn the goddamn thermostat up. <gasps> do you hear that? We need to get back to the exhaust before we lose the girl again. Sally! Sally, come out! It isn't working. I told you she's coming. It isn't working. Turn if it we off. Turn it off. It's not going to work. We have to turn it off. We are hurting her. <laughs> Sally! Sally? Sally, it's Booker. It's me. Sally, 
Come on. I'm gonna get you out of here. Sally! Come out here right now! No, 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 no! Sally. No! Okay. She's come to see you. We're going home. Do you want to go home? <laughs> don't fight, please. Don't. I'm here. I just want to take you home. I just want to get her back. You're hurting her. She's good to come with She's me. She's not your child. She is mine. Let her go. Let her go. She's mine. Closing. Shut it down. Shut down the machine. You've got to pull her Shut down the machine! No, she's no fool! Shut it down! No, 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 no. I wasn't. No, no, no. Yet you had to have me, didn't you? No, this isn't right. And when the guilt no. was too much... You turned to us to solve your problem. To provide a place to go where you might forget. Where there never was an Anna in the first place. Comstock was never one to own up to his errors, was he, brother? Never comfortable with the choices he made. Always seeking someone else's life to claim as his own. Elizabeth, child, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Oh. <laughs> 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 